Ambassador Msumang Mswambeje is there. Indeed, uh, Peter, the person that really was being honored today, uh, at some point, he was the uh, High Commissioner to the United Kingdom. And you can imagine those who were uh, his former colleagues were also here. I mean, one of them is uh, the former High Commissioner herself to the UK, uh, Mam Lindiwe Mabuza, who's here with us to share her thoughts. Uh, Mam Mabuza, you were here, you know Babum Simang. So how does it feel that uh, you are here today and then uh, saying your goodbyes to a man so uh, elo eloquently described in terms of the struggle? It feels sad, but it's also a moment to reflect on all the wonderful works that he did in his life. It was a long life, well lived. You know, I've known Putmendi from the time I was a student, a teenager. He inspired us, he inspired us at Pius XII University College in Lesotho because when I arrived, he had left two years before. And he was a legend at that time. And the student body was just so excited about, about teaching us what they had learned from Mendy and Thomas Nkobi, his very good friend, who became the Treasurer General of the ANC. So, you know, for me, it's somebody that we've grown up with or under, or inspired by him. And I've known him when I was also a, 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 um, a chief representative of the ANC in many countries. I had gone to India where he was chief representative. Although he had left and left his wife there, the work that he had started, she continued it, which teaches us something else that which we're not talking about, that Mendy in administrating the, the work of the ANC in India did not leave his wife behind, that she was very much part and parcel in the forefront, struggling alongside him to inform the population in India, to interact with Indian government on all manner of things, to raise scholarships for the children of South Africa. She was continuing the same thing. Just to give you an example, I was at the time working for Radio Freedom from Lusaka, and I had gone there with a, 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 a tape recorder to get as many interviews for Radio Freedom as possible. She was able to organize for me an interview with the Prime Minister of India at the time, Indira Gandhi. So that power of that office of the ANC is due to the influence that Mandy had and his wife later had, that there was so much respect for the movement because of the way they carried themselves, so much expectations also of what the ANC can do and should do. So much support was garnered all around India because of their presence there. I know that uh, you've just heard that uh, um, Alex Borin as well has passed away, but as someone who's been involved in the struggle, who knows so much about his role as well, what's your uh, response and reaction? He's one of those South Africans that defied the apartheid regime to make sure that we are where we are today. He, together with Van Zyl Slabat, we met them in Lusaka. They were in and out there consulting with the ANC. But they were so brave and bold to take the move to bring white South Africans all together with us. Because if you didn't have a leadership like that, a leadership that white people could believe in, trusted, and not just the apartheid white leaders, but leaders who were not supporting apartheid, who wanted a new direction for the country. And they, they really exemplified that type of leadership. And so as I'm, sh I'm actually shocked that we just heard he's dead, he's late now, but he's done his job. As we mourn, we must also be happy because of the role they played in this world, in this life, in our country. Thank you very much, Ma. You're welcome.
That was the former High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Mam Lindiwe Mabuza there, Peter. Zwai, thanks very much indeed, and uh, we will be crossing to him as uh, he gets more and more people still reacting to the passing of Ambassador Msumang. And just before we